Welcome back to the Daughters of the Moon podcast. We're grateful that you can join us for another day. We sure are. And we are bringing you your November monthly reading. So that's exciting. <laughs> it is exciting. And you'll need to tune in this month because we have some amazing guests coming on. Oh, so, do we ever... so just keep tuning in. <laughs> We're so excited about it ourselves. And we would like some of your feedback, please. Yes. Anyway. So I'll let you get started and we'll go from there. Okay. Now I'm doing some different one this time. This is a postcard and it's actually postcards from spirit. And um so there's no real picture to speak about. It's um and it's done by Colette Baron Reed. So, anyways, this is the card. It doesn't say much, it's a postcard. <laughs> okay, but I will read what it means for November. It says, Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience to love of spirit. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you're truly in sync with your good fortune. How to think how you think is how you will see the world. Interact with it and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who, who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours. You need to start acting as if that is what is that is you were your truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary and won't even count. Defy them and act them as you're you're the luckiest person in the planet on the planet. You will be. You will be that, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are an infinite potential and have infinite potential. Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the earth, in the ether, I think it says. <laughs> Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. ether. Not a beautiful card. It is, so, ether. it is actually. And it's interesting because we were talking about this not very long ago <laughs> as well. And it's funny how some things come up um, as you were talking about earlier. I think what it's saying here is that try to be the best that you are all the time. Make sure that when you're thinking or try to to try to when you're thinking in it every single day about the being the best you can be. I know it's hard some days if like it says, if it's chaos or trauma or things like that that's happened in your life. But if you try to pass by that and you try to go into the good side of everything that you're doing, um, put that smile on your face and it'll help you through the month. Because it's drawing close to winter here in Canada, um, and we're going to be having snow and things like that, a lot of people will go into a little bit of a void or a place where sometimes is where we need would normally be in the nicer weather when we're out about doing things. But this is just sort of just saying to you, just because the winter is stepping in and it's a slower time for people in general, it doesn't matter where you are, um, you know, try to bring, bring the self-love and act as if you're, in the moment right now, everything you're doing is in the moment of where you're going to be and what you want to be down the road. So just making it happen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I agree <laughs> with you. I think I think for me, when you were reading it, what is funny because we were just having that discussion yeah. and it, mm -hmm. it is about watching your words and what you're saying to yourself. And even if we are in that chaotic state, like you said, to find the joy in the day and to find to where we need to be going to bring that joyous and live as authentically as ourselves as we can to admit that joy out to other people. So because yeah, it flows a, in the world and it is a, it's like a ricochet, you yeah. know, if you uh, put that power out there, that's generally good, then it just reflects out into the world too. And that's what we want. We want it to bring, pleasantry and and happiness to to all around us and especially ourselves so that we can maintain in the day doing the things that we need to do as repetitious as they can be sometimes uh through jobs children whatever the case may be uh do do it your way yeah and be happy doing it choose right choose right okay. very nice to say. My, my, my favorite thing to say <laughs> nice. i like bliss but okay. that's okay <laughs> they're all really good words right <laughs> 
Can't see can't, everything. I can't see. <laughs> okay, so the deck that I chose is Work Your Light by Rebecca Campbell. And the card that I chose is the Pillar mm, of Light. Nice. So what I'm seeing with it is basically it says on it, your vibration is rising and you are the oracle. And that is really what I'm seeing is that she is she is tapped into her consciousness so much with her higher consciousness that she is actually rising up to meet that consciousness and be above where she actually even expects to be in the world. And through that, I feel like it's it's like sort of what you said. It's just like our and your energy is emitting out into the world. And there's a lot of love around that. And by your voice and sharing the things that you know and the consciousness that you've brought in, you're sharing that out with the the world and creating this beautiful space to live in. And there's a big rainbow underneath her, which is really interesting. And as the rainbow goes through her, it just becomes the white light into the higher consciousness and into the universe, because it's just showing all the things that she's been through and all the ways that she's raised herself up. Wow, so beautiful. That is what I see with that. Do you want to read the card first? Or go okay. ahead. Boy, very well put, Kitty. Thank you. Um, you know, it's like she has the angel wings around her on, on both sides. That is just bringing her. It, it, she's ascending. She's moving up into the higher choices of what she's been going through. And when we do Reiki and things like that, or we do um, our chakras, we always try to pull the, the earth energy up into us, um, helping us to align ourselves so that we work well all the way through to get the energies working alignment. So we, we do transcend and we do ascend into where we need to be all the time. And it's funny how the two cards are somewhat similar in their message, you know, is to be the best of you, um, you know, bring your consciousness, pull it up to you. Uh, let yourself feel the energy as you're for every single day, like feel the energy, work with the energy, because when you do work with the energies and that, you're, it makes your day so much better and you just feel a hundred percent of walking in into whatever situation you're going to be whether it's a traumatic situation or you're taking your kid to school and he doesn't like it or she doesn't like it <laughs> and you're going through a moment if you try to see past that and you get your energy uh lifted you know then it's going to be a lot easier working with what you're uh what you're you know looking at in that day so yeah let your vibration just flow yeah and it, I think too, the more alignment that you are in alignment with yourself, you can get through those harder times so by true. that, right? Yeah. And and it, you pull into you the people that you need to be as a part of your life by admitting that light of your own. That's true. Because if you think about it, when you're doing it, you also will start breathing differently too. So your breathing pattern, it, as it changes, your heart will slow down and things like that so that you become in rhythm. You know, you're, like Kim said, the vibration of yeah. everything is there and it's beautiful. Yeah. So well said. Okay. Is. So the book says, you are heaven and earth in perfect expression, a conduit for the light of the heavens to the earth. You are ra the rainbow bridge. Take time to meditate. Imagine yourself as a pillar of light connecting the light of the heavens above with the earth. As the light shines through each of your chakras, you activate the rainbow bridge that many ancient scriptures speak about. Raising your vibration and the vibration of the planet, linking the higher realms of the cosmos, guides, angels, and spirit with the ancient wisdom, keepers and beings of planet Earth. They dance together through you. They sing together through you. Without your body, voice, and creations, neither can be expressed. For too long, we've been taught that God is outside of us, giving away our power to angels and spirit guides. But without you, they do not have a voice. You are the oracle. Do not look for guidance outside, for you hold all the wisdom of the entire universe in the portal of your heart, in every cell of your body. Do not see the angels and guides as above you, for without you, they have no way of communicating. You are the oracle. You are the rainbow bridge. You are the pillar of light. And the work your light activation says, hold this card on your heart and say, I allow the light of the heavens and the light of the earth to flow through me now. I activate the codes of remembering within my cells and chakras. I activate my system as a rainbow bridge between heaven and earth. 
Very nice. Yeah. Boy, are they ever associated? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Wow. And it it reminds me I have I have an affirmation that I do in the morning that talks about seeing your truth, knowing your fate by seeing your truth and by recognizing it. So that's wow. it, that's what it called me. I was like, oh okay. <laughs> when I was reading yeah. this, this stuff is unbelievable. Yeah. We both pick our cards that we're gonna read to you. Um you know, ask them for November's reading sort of thing. And it's so often they run into each other. It's it's uncanny. Well, and it is really interesting because even when we were shuffling for today's deck, and so we'll give you a little behind the scenes, <laughs> is is that a bunch of cards fell out for you. And then so you use the pendulum to find the cards that were for the collective, for the messages. And oh, really? yeah. And so I always, I like to do that even when I'm doing my own is like sometimes a bunch fall out and I'm like, I need four cards. And a lot of times you don't. So you need to trust that inner knowing, right? You do. You do. And, so, and, or your pendulum. Or your pendulum. <laughs> Either one. Either one. Okay. They both help. Okay, you. okay, the one I pick next is uh, the Page of Wands. Swords, sorry. And the deck is from uh, the Lightseer's Tarot. And it's by Chris Ann. So... Very nice cards. I've never done this before, so here goes. <laughs> okay, this is the Page of Swords. Okay, the Page of Swords, it says, Lightseer, restless energy, energy, curiosity, a thirst for information, learning new things, an apprentice or a student, intellectual pursuits, ideas and reasons, reasoning, a messenger. Okay, the Shadow Seeker. Arrogance, gossip, nervous energy, being all talk and no action, dishonesty. Am I not supposed to read this first? I'm supposed to tell my own interpretation of it. Well, whatever. Okay, we're going we're, to we're, we're <laughs> mixing things up this week, this month. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, <laughs> okay, curious and intelligent. This pays is a thirst for knowledge that seems unquenchable. She's an incredibly quick-witted communicator, and she's often compelled to share her many ideas and messages with others. At times, she's so talkative that it becomes too much for others to process, and her intense energy can come across as unsettled or even nervous. She suggests, she suggests using an air of inventiveness in your current pursuit. Your goals will be met by walking a path of honest discovery especially where others are concerned. Keep the light bulbs of curiosity turned on and cultivate a beginner's mindset as you strive to learn new things. Avoid falling into gossip or even arrogance with other communication in shadow. This page can be all talk and no action. Remember that everyone who crosses your path has something specific to teach you and that mirrors are all, all around. Remain open to unexpected lessons to uh, share truthfully and delight in every interaction. And the card, it says, I learn and expand my consciousness and open up to new opportunities in my life. Wow, that's beautiful. Isn't it interesting, eh? Mm -hmm. November, we're coming into the end of this year of 2023. So we're going to be November, December. We're actually stepping into newness when we come into January. And this card, to me, tells you, as a, the other card said as well, um, seek the truth of you. Find what you need to do. Just don't be worried about asking the questions. Be that curious kid that you were at one time. Ask the questions. Don't be afraid to step into things that are, you know, makes you feel a little nervous or whatever. Um, go go with it. If it tells you if something in your body is saying, yeah, you know, I really need to do that. I think I really need to do that. Well, then you're going, yes, then I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it out. Because if you, even if you fail, if you didn't try it, then you don't know if you're ever going to be good at it. Because sometimes it's out of the failures that we stem the beautiful things that we do in life that encourage us to just keep going. So this card, I think, just really tells you, as far as I'm concerned, anyways, same as the other cards. Do your bliss. Do what makes you happy. Don't listen to everybody else. You know, if you have something to say, say it. You know, quit holding back on the things that brings you happiness. Um, go and do 
the things that you need to do because that's where you're going to find where you need to do need what you need to do and this because we're coming into the end of this year starting into the next this is the time you can be do the clarity of what you don't want anymore in your life mm -hmm. to bring it up and what we do for the clarity for the year coming ahead we don't want this crap from behind we want all this new stuff to come up i'm so that page where my mind is all over the place although that you know it's time and i'm always trying to spark something new in my life because <laughs> I get more easy but um that's okay uh be the best of you all the time is what I think the, the cards so far have been saying mm -hmm. Your turn, yeah <laughs> I agree and and I get that it's really about what you said following your best and trying new things and not even if you're fearful with something that you want to try out is it's like just go for it anyways because Sometimes through that fear, we find the positive things that come out and embrace us and, and show us new things. And yeah, it's like another page is turning. And it's a reminder, yeah. I think, that, you know, we are basically born to die. And so every day is a new day, is a new page, and you get to write your story for what you want it to well, be. Sad. So like write your story to how you want it to be. And I agree, it's getting to the end of the year. It's a time to reflect on what has happened over this last year and what you want to leave in this last year. Thank you for the experiences. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for the, the the lessons. Yes. But leave them in this year and bring the new things into the new year. Yeah, hurrah for that. Yeah, hurrah for that. What I get with that. Very so nice. And maybe, maybe in December's we'll, we'll uh, maybe talk a little bit when we do the monthly reading about um one wishes and well all. yeah a little bit about that and a little bit about some of the things that we ourselves want to leave in this hey. past year wow just to give some people some ideas okay. so the cards that i chose are the quantum oracle by sandra ann taylor and the card that I chose is number eight, consciousness, happy success. Nice. And so what I'm picking up with it is like, he's just, he's so joyous because obviously he succeeded at things. And I think it goes in line with all the other parts <laughs> about following your joy and following it, getting out into the world and emitting your life out to the world. Because the more that we emit of ourselves out into the world and out around us we inspire others by that for one and then two we also are living authentically as ourselves, and we are moving forward in leaps and bounds mm -hmm. and so again it's talking about just going for it and just doing the things and getting out and just yelling out into the world how excited you are and how happy you are for the successes that you have made embrace the failures that you've done but don't let them hold you down exactly. into the into not moving forward awesome kim how do you go with that <laughs> oh you'll do <laughs> <I know. laughs> okay i agree the card it's like he's got the light in his hand, the energy, the energy that he's got in both of his hands is transcending and ascending him to where he wants to go. He's just so elated about what he's been doing and how he's been working with things in his life. The flowers and everything else just shows such pleasant things around him. Uh, when you can think of yourself doing that, think of the best things that can be for you and, and, you, and you, where you just go, oh, yes, you know that, that, Oh, yes, moment where you're just so excited, you can hardly stand it. And you want that to keep going for you, that the those moments. And that's what this card's about. It just says that in November, do that for yourself. Let everything just, that has been bothering you and frightening you or whatever the case may be, let it just pass. And let the enlightenment of the moment every single day Try to have that enlightenment of the moment that gives you the pleasure and the bliss in your life that you just want to share with the whole world because you're just so excited. It's like passing a test that you've done and you've got 100% and it's like, holy shit, that's great. <laughs> you know, and it's that moment. It's that moment. So try to take that into your heart and to your expression of every day in the month of November. So that every time you're out shopping for your Christmas presents and things like that, you're thinking of the goodness for everybody and your gifts will be of that too for them. And it'll, and it'll late both you and when the time time comes later. So yes, be your own person, be you, enjoy, 
Yes. Okay. The it book says, out there. Yeah, see, <laughs> I knew you would. I knew you'd follow up and tie it all in together. I love, I love, I do love how that, how you can't make it up. I mean, so many readers I know and follow always say that is yeah. you can't make this shit up. No. And, and you can't. I mean, these were randomly, like I've got like 30 decks of cards. These, these are <laughs> randomly chosen. And how did they all align with each other? Exactly. Yeah. Crazy. Like both of us walk around, just all oh, take this one. You yeah. Know one. <laughs> yeah. So it says the wish is fulfilled. Uh, a man stands in a flowering field with his arms stretched out, happily looking up at the sky. It's raining beautiful gems, silver coins, and droplets of bright light. He is clearly filled with joy about the abundant blessings coming his way. Happiness is a choice, as is the consciousness of success. When you live in these mental attitudes, it's only a matter of time before you too are showered with the blessings you desire. This card marks a time of great joy and abundance for you. This may be in form of expanding wealth, love, or business achievement. The promise here is that the wish you've been dreaming about is coming your way, so open up to the success in your heart and to the happiness already in your life and get ready for much more to come. Um, the affirmation is, I focus on the beauty and success of my spirit. The world is abundant and I know that wonderful things are coming my way. And I, I, it's so funny because we were just talking about that, right? Cho choosing joy and just like living every day just finding that happiness in that and and being grateful for the things that we already have in our lives That's because true. that invites so much more into it and then i forgot to say it's by the quantum oracle by sandra and taylor so mm -hmm. also, God. <laughs> also backwards from how we usually do things but we like to mix it up here <laughs> yeah we can't be boring yeah, that's great right. <laughs> so Thank you again for joining us for another week, and we will be back next week. And well, next month, actually, for your reading. Oh, yes. <laughs> that too. That too. <laughs> All right.